Hello everybody, welcome to Simplified in 5. Today we are going to talk about RTTI in C++. So what is RTTI? It's basically an acronym for Runtime Type Identification. So in Object Oriented Program, we all know that it allows users of Base Class Pointer to identify the actual type of derived class that the pointer is pointing to. And it's very commonly uh, used scenario that uh, we use Base Class Pointer to point to the derived class. And at runtime we want to find out uh, which uh, derived type the pointer is actually pointing to and it's basically uh, very useful uh, when you are writing unit tests for your program so how the dynamic uh, how the RTTI is achieved it's achieved through uh, type ID operator as well as the dynamic cast operator and both of them provide the information about the actual type whether the base class pointer or reference is pointing to so RTTI can be used for pointer as well as reference so uh, let's first see the dynamic cast. So the dynamic cast can be used only for polymorphic types with virtual functions because uh, it uses the virtual method tables that are created when you have virtual functions in your class. Uh, and through those virtual table methods, uh, virtual method tables, uh, you find out the dynamic type information. So dynamic cast basically tells us whether we can safely convert uh, the given uh, pointer or reference to uh, given point pointer or reference of a base class let's say uh, to the uh, particular type of a derived class through the runtime type runtime type check and if the cast is successful uh, you get a valid pointer otherwise you get a null pointer as a result similarly if you are using dynamic cast for references uh, then uh, in case of successful cast you get a valid reference whether uh, where uh, when the cast fails you get an exception of type bad cast if the reference is not actually referring to uh, the object of expected type you want to uh, convert it to then now let's see at the type id so it's again an operator which returns the information uh, in the form of a uh, type info structure so you can use uh, type id for non polymorphic types as well as polymorphic types uh, like which have used virtual function but if you use it for uh, polymorphic types without virtual function you will get only the uh, static type information or the compile time information but uh, uh, if you uh, want to get the dynamic type information uh, your class should have virtual methods because uh, the dynamic type information is obtained again uh, through the virtual method tables only so type id and dynamic cast both use the <coughs> uh, virtual method tables to find out the dynamic type of a given pointer or reference uh, on which you are using it or uh, even an object in case of type id and you can use the name method in type info object to get the name of the type so basically these are the two types uh, which you use for uh, finding runtime type information so now let's see um, in the end cost of the RTTI so yeah as we know uh, although it's very useful in unit tests uh, using RTTI in functional code should be avoided because somehow uh, you know if you are trying to find out the uh, runtime uh, type of an object or you want to know the type of an object at runtime there should be uh, that is indication that there is something wrong with your design <laughs> Uh, so you should take a or give a second look to your design and try to improve it um, similarly high use of RTTI can uh, lead to multiple you know if conditions and a branchable code and branched code unmaintainable code and which needs you know a lot of um, trading when you are modifying it <laughs> similarly <coughs> dynamic cast as well as uh, type ID uh, it would it is a costlier operation when you do it uh, for polymorphic types having virtual functions so because it involves the traversal through inheritance hierarchy and comparisons along the way because it does kind of a string comparisons uh, when it travels through the inheritance hierarchy to find out the actual type uh, to which your pointer or reference is pointing to uh, so to avoid this uh, alternatives like virtual functions and uh, templates and maybe uh, the double dispatch approach like in visitor design pattern 
you should try considering those two about the using RTDI so basically these are the five key things uh, we saw about uh, RTDI we saw the cost uh, we saw the how to use type ID we saw how to use dynamic cast we saw how is it achieved and we basically saw what is RTDI so thanks for watching and hope this helps